is Seema and I am back with a new lesson on character idioms. Well, a way a person behaves toward you tells you a lot about his character, right? Well, there are some people who are so much fun to be around with because they've got good character and then there are some people who are so annoying because, well, they're just simply mean. They don't really have good character or they haven't developed good character. So this lesson is going to teach you how to refer to people using idioms based on how they behave or based on what their character is. Okay, let's look at a few of them. The first one is armchair critic. Okay, now visualize a really high armchair, okay, and a critic, someone who just sits on it and criticizes or makes comments. Well, that's what an armchair critic is. A person who criticizes or comments about pretty much any situation without even helping. So I know a friend of mine who had a supervisor, you know, her manager, who would keep telling everyone that, you know, this is not right and that is not right, but he wouldn't lift a finger to help in anything what he thought wasn't right. You know, he could have come in, stepped in and, you know, helped the situation, but he didn't because he was an armchair critic. He thought it is best to sit on his high chair and just comment or criticizing without helping. And um, we have the next idiom which is called a busybody. Well, there are some people who are genuinely busy and then there are some people who are busy interfering in other people's lives. So a busybody is basically someone who interferes in other people's lives well busybodies are basically people who always want to know everything about everyone don't you hate people like that well my grandmother she is a busybody because she always wants to know everything about everyone's dating lives like as if it was her business so a busybody is people are people who are really busy but busy interfering in other people's lives okay um, the next one is cheap steak okay well the word is kind of indicative of what the meaning might be so a cheap steak is someone who hates to spend money now these people are um, that breed of people who hate to spend money when it is actually required to spend money. So uh, you could say something like Tim um, gifted his mother a $5 gift for her birthday. Well, he is a real cheapskate, isn't he? Because, well, you know, his mother's birthday comes once in a year, you know, and he is supposed to gift her something. She is his mother after all, isn't she? But, um, well, he is a cheapskate, so he won't spend more than $5. So, when you go to a restaurant, don't go with a cheapskate, yeah? Okay? So, a cheapskate, another word for it, could also be someone who is very stingy. But uh, a better known idiom would be a cheapskate. And uh, the next idiom to talk about a person's character is a worry wart. What, what is a worry wart? A worry wart is someone who, well, as the word says, worries all the time. These people are um, extensively anxious all the time. They're always worried about something or the other. My mother is a worry wart because, well, she keeps worrying about what I'm doing, where I'm going. So unless I'm home, she is not relaxed. She calls me 10 times on the phone every day. My mother is a real worry watch. She's very anxious and worries all the time about a certain thing. Okay, that's what a worry watch is. 
and then we got um, down to earth well people who are down to earth are well it's the opposite of being very unrealistic or really up there in the clouds so down to earth people are very realistic they are very sensible and you know they're um, very humble they have a lot of humility now believe me these are the best kind of people uh, to be with because they've got it all sorted out for themselves okay when they are there you know everything is pretty peaceful everything is um, you know minus all the chaos and the drama so uh, you can say that everyone loves to work with Janet because she's a down-to-earth person you know she's very reasonable very realistic and of course very sensible okay and we've got behind the times okay um, well uh, we are now in a certain time in a certain age so if you are behind the times what would that mean it would mean someone who is very old-fashioned or shall I say someone who uh, does not want to adopt so they won't adopt to the to new ways of doing things well my dad my father well uh, he is behind the times because he would not like to use a smartphone he still uses a push button phone I know that's kind of weird but he is behind the times a little bit uh, okay well he's behind the times a lot okay so behind the times is basically referring to people who are old-fashioned and who don't really want to give up their old ways they want to stick to what they have been doing all the while well I've got six more character idioms for you let's move on to the next one which is a go-getter well a go-getter is someone who is out there ready to go and get something yeah so um, a go-getter could be someone who is very energetic someone who's very ambitious and of course these people are in inevitably very active so these are people who look at something they want something and they go there and just get it so you can say something like Ron is a go-getter when it comes to his dating life so Ron is a kind of a guy who will always be there all the time for all the parties he will always try to hook up with as many women as possible because he is a go-getter he's trying to get the best girl that is out there so he's not going to be laid back chilled out he's going to do a lot of hunting yeah so he is a go-getter someone who is very ambitious someone who is very active and energetic uh, a go-getter can also apply to your work life if you are very ambitious it can also apply to your studies if you want to do very well academically okay and um, the next character idiom is a know-it-all well what kind of a person is a know-it-all well a know-it-all is a very negative um, idiom or a very negative phrase you use to speak sarcastically about a person who is you know over smart uh, such people are called smart Alex these are people who, will, who, who won't listen to you because they think they know everything these are people who have their own set of things in their mind and they don't want to accept correction or listen to anything that you've got to say so uh, you can say something like um, Mr. Smith is a know-it-all there is no point in correcting him or my sister is a know-it-all she won't listen to you because apparently she thinks she is very smart she's a smart aleck you can't correct her yeah so this is a negative word uh, or a negative idiom uh, with a negative meaning obviously and uh, the next one is to be set in one's ways well what kind of a character would a person have if he or she is set in one's ways uh, this person is someone who is very very stubborn okay now have you ever heard of people who you've got to really tell them a lot of times to do a you know a certain thing and they will never change 
they will do what they want to do and they will do it exactly the way they've been doing it because they are set in their ways they don't want to change because they're very stubborn by nature right so you can say something like i teach my little brother how to drive a car but he is set in his own ways he will drive the car the way he wants to he won't listen to you know what i tell him about traffic rules about how to stop at the right signals so he is very stubborn he is set in his own ways there is no point in you know telling him how to do something because he's going to stick to what he is doing and the way he is doing it okay and the next one is a slime ball again this is not a very good word don't use it to anyone's face okay because you might get beaten but a slime ball is someone who is um, a disgusting person someone who deserves to be hated so i can say something like um well um you know sean is a real slime ball he he has cheated on his wife multiple times right because that's a disgusting thing to do i mean you wouldn't want to cheat on your wife but he's a slime ball he deserves to be hated because he's done a very bad thing okay so when someone does something which is you know very difficult to forgive or something really really bad you call them a slime ball okay and the next one is a party pooper well what is a poop well when you go uh, you know in the morning and when you take a dump okay what comes out is poop right so someone who poops on a party is someone who spoils the fun because they are very negative negative by means of their um attitude or their actions so maybe you've got a friend of yours who gets you know way too drunk and at a party and you know just gets into a fight every time you go uh you know out with that person and you don't want to take him ever because you say that he's a party pooper you know he always spoils the fun so you've been having a good time but there he is again getting drunk and making a really big um, deal out of everything so he gets into a fight he gets into a brawl he is a real party pooper and our last expression um, our last idiom uh, to describe someone's character is a social butterfly well um we all know how a butterfly is right it flits from one flower to the other to the other and just goes on and on and on right so a social butterfly is a person who is just like a butterfly who can move or who loves to talk or socialize with several people So these are extroverts as you may call them they are not people uh in a party well uh, they are the people who will be seen with almost everyone they know everyone in the party because they have been flitting like a butterfly from one person to another one to another one so that's it from me on this lesson on character idioms i hope you found them interesting and i hope you can use them when you are talking about people's characters Well, I'll be back with some more lessons. Until then, this is me saying goodbye.